In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear axle bearings and seals on this Ram 1500. If you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. Let's get started. We're going to remove the wheel, use a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. And remove the wheel. We're going to remove the wheel speed sensor wire from the brake hose. Just slide these grommets off. Just separate that. We're going to take the caliper and bracket off all as one. Use a 21 millimeter socket. Take the two bolts out. Just grab the caliper, rock it back and forth a little bit, and just slide the pads off the rotor. Now using a caliper hook, just gonna hang it from the coil spring out of the way. And then just using a hammer and tapping in these locations, be careful not to hit the studs. Loosen up the rotor. rock it back and forth, slide it off. We're gonna take the fill plug out first. I'm just gonna use a straight blade screwdriver. Just get under this little cap. It's just a rubber cap. Pop this off. Just like that. With a drain bucket underneath, we're gonna pull the drain plug out. You wanna use a 14 millimeter hex socket or an H14 socket. and drain the fluid out. It's all drained out. Just gonna take a rag, a little bit of brake parts cleaner, wipe it down. You don't wanna spray the brake parts cleaner in there. That's good. Take the drain plug, you wanna wipe it off. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of pipe sealer. And just spread that around. That's good. Get that started. Snug that up a little bit, then we're gonna torque that to 52 foot-pounds. That's good. We're gonna take these cover bolts out. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath because you're probably going to have a little fluid come out. Then using a pry bar, I'm just going to give it a tap with a hammer. Just try to get underneath it. Just pry it out, just like that. Pull the bolt out and slide the cover right off. You're going to put the vehicle in neutral and you want to spin the drive shaft so that you get this bolt right here to line up. 
right here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to take the bolt out. And then put the vehicle back in park. Now we're using a eight millimeter socket. Take this bolt out. And slide the bolt out. With a magnet, I'm just gonna grab this lock pin and slide it out. Now we're gonna push the axle in from the outside and then you're gonna have a C-clip fall out. If it didn't fall out, you can use a magnet, grab it. Just make sure you don't spin the axle. Just grab the axle. Again, don't spin it. Just carefully pull it out. We're gonna pull the axle seal out. You can use an axle seal puller or even just a big pry bar. Try to get behind it. There we go. You just gotta be careful, you don't wanna scratch the surface on the inside. There we go. So a pry bar, pry bar worked a little better. We're going to use a bearing puller. Find the right size. Just finger tight with that. Install the slide hammer to the adapter. And just slide it out. Take the bearing, line that up. You want to use a bearing installer, get the right size. So it's just a little smaller than the bearing. We're going to tap it in. Tap it in until you hear that different sound. It's not gonna go any further. Now you wanna wipe this with a rag. Use a little brake parts cleaner. And if there's any grooves, you wanna just use a small amount of sandpaper, just try to get the groove out. But that looks pretty good. Take the seal. Line that up. Use a seal installer or even a block of wood would work fine. Just make sure it's even. As close as possible. Tap it in. That's all the way down. Take a look, looks good. I'm just gonna take a little bit of gear oil and go past the seal, and just get the bearing wet. You can spin it around a little bit. You could do this before you put it in if you want. That works fine, just so it's not dry going in there. It's fine. We got a little gear oil right here. I'm just gonna spray with some brake parts cleaner. Clean that up a little bit. Take the axle, just slide it in. You're gonna lift it up a little bit because you have to get it lined up in the splines of the differential. Slide it all the way in. The C clip, line that up. Put that in, then just pull the axle outwards. Then you can do the same on the other side if you need to. 
Take this pin, slide it in place. Might have to move the gear a little bit. Oops, don't go too far. You wanna make sure that hole is lined up on the side with where the screw's gonna go, right there. Take the lock screw. It's a good idea to replace this. Put a little thread lock adhesive on it. And torque this to 19 foot pounds. That's good. We're just gonna clean up this area, all the gasket material. Just use a razor blade or a scraper. Just scrape as much of it off as possible. And on the back of the cover, you wanna do the same. Just use a scraper or a razor blade. Just clean up this as much as possible. Get as much of that RTV up as you can. Use a little brake parts cleaner. Just clean off the backside. Just wipe it with a rag. That looks good. You can spray some on the rag and then just wipe down the surface area and the differential. I'm just going to use some RTV, just put a thin bead, just go around the bolt holes. Carefully, without hitting the ring gear, slide this in place. Push it on, you can wiggle it a little bit, back and forth, and get the bolt started. Start snugging those down.
Now we're going to torque these all down to 32 foot-pounds. Good. Now we're going to let that set up a little bit before we add the gear oil. And we're going to fill up the rear differential, use the appropriate gear oil. Double check your owner's manual. We're using 75W140 and it's a synthetic blend and this does have the additive already in it. If your vehicle has a limited slip differential, you're going to need to add a limited slip additive. So make sure your fluid already has that in it. Right, there we go, that's full. A little less than three quarts, about two and a half. You can see the oil's right up to the base of the filler. We'll wipe this off, take the cap, line it up, and push it in. And you can wipe off the excess. I'll just take a little anti-seize copper grease, just give it a couple squirts. Just don't get it on the studs. And if you're reusing old rotors, you want to clean in the, this area with a wire brush as well. Slide this on. Take the brake caliper off the hanger. Line this up. Go over the rotor. the bolts, get those started. Snug those down. Now we'll torque these to 132 foot pounds. And take the wiring harness for the wheel speed sensor. Push those in to the grommets and the clips. That's good. Now reinstall the wheel. Line it up. Put the lug nuts on. Tighten those down. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 130 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check.
Well, I hope this video helped you out. And if you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1aauto.com and you can watch all those repair videos to help you with your installs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.